I'll be safe out here in these streets, all right? All praise to the most high. All praise to the most high. What's going on, King? Hey, all praises, all praises. Man, you look, you look cool in that pillow right now. This is like my favorite shoes, man. What size is that? It's hard, but where's my... <laughs> what's going on with you, King? Same old, same old. Okay, what's your nationality? I know you want this sign because he's too, he too cool right now. I don't even know the counter. Oh, so, oh, wow, wow. So many things that it's crazy. Oh, you know what? That's a clue. Because we're the only people that go through that. And all the other nations, do the happy walk, he knows where he's from. Did you get an Isaiah? Isaiah 1. Oh, get, get Jeremiah, give me Isaiah 1. For the most part now, I can say I'm American. Right, right, right. And you know what? Wherever we live in captivity, they would name us after that. But the Bible says that would happen to us. Watch it. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. God is prophesying to Jeremiah that the Israelites are going to forget who they are. That's right. Real. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. To serve thine enemies. Did we serve our enemies? We sure did, right? Watch this, though. But he said something that was really wise. Let me tell you something, too, King. We got some kind of courage. Because some people... They, they feel bad saying that they don't know. But the wisest thing you can say is that you don't know. Because we don't know. We don't know. I grew up my whole life calling myself black. Your shirt is black. We call ourselves black. No one damn where we brown. Right? Watch this. Read this. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 1, verse 3. The ox of his owner. The ox is not the smartest animal in the world. I kind of a dumb man. But he knows who his owner is, right? We don't. And the ass is master's crib. The donkey knows how to get back home, right? We don't. But Israel, but Israel does not know. But Israel does not know. This is the book of Isaiah. My people do not consider. And you know what? Our people don't know, but the problem is, is that we don't even consider. Because it says in the Bible that in the last days, one third of us, all the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, we gonna wake up and remember who we are and come back to God. Like, look at this. You see, like it's like like this Latinos, right? They walking by. You ask them, they think that they're, they're a different nation than you. We all think we're different than each other. But the truth is, everybody on this sign is from the same forefather. But we don't know it, right? Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, they think they're different from each other. Jamaicans, Haitians, Native Americans, we are all the same people. Right, and we all kind of got the same vibe, too. We all kind of, you know what? We are Judah, most likely. Right? Like a true Jew. The ones who call us those American blacks, niggas, African Americans. Our, our nationality changes every 10 years. This year we're calling us black. Next year is African American. Next year is Afro American. Right? That's some nonsense because they know who we are. We don't get guns down in the street because we're black. Because East Indians be black. But they don't gun them down. Why just us? Because they know who we are. Now, now I, I would say all the nations were all alike, but Judah is the head tribe. Give me Jeremiah, give me Genesis 49, Judah. Because you are the kings, you are the top tribe. You are from the tribe. So see, I'm from the tribe of Gad, right? That should be what you call Native Americans. So look, these guys are from Judah. This guy here is from Benjamin. He would call himself Jamaican in the world. But Jamaica means land of wood and water. That's not a real nationality. Puerto Rican means rich port. That's not a real nationality. God said we would lose that, but it's because we didn't follow his laws. So I'm saying your ancestors walked through the Red Sea with Moses. And we was always far. We was always the flies. We always had the best food. So the Bible showed us when God learned us how to uh, make fried chicken. Tortillas, all that's in the Bible. Yes, it's in the Bible. And you wouldn't even know. We wouldn't even realize it. But we are those people. Right, read this. Let's read you. Let's start at you. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, and verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall bring. You are going to be the top tribe. You're going to be the flyest one out of, out of all the tribes. You're the one we're going to put up on the, on the throne. Judah, put the same blood in your veins. Like, see how you got that Muhammad Ali on your vein, right? You ever heard of David and Goliath? That David, the giant slayer, that's the same blood running through your veins. Solomon, the wisest runner that ever was on the earth, that's the same blood in your veins. This guy, who they said was a white boy, but he's not, he's really a black man. Christ, the Messiah, you got the same blood in your veins that he had. That's from the same tribe, Judah. Right? Go ahead. It's 
the book of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Judah. Now, they, they don't want you to know you're from Judah, but Judah is really the head tribe. Judea, that's, they copied everything from us. They don't they copy how they wear hats and how they wear their shoes and what shoes to wear. They copy it off of us, don't they? They call it the judicial system because it's how we wear things in Judea. You know what I'm saying? We are the salt of the earth. We are the salt of the earth. And let me show you something. Give me Deuteronomy 20 and 16. Let me show you something. God put curses on our people. You already there? God put curses on us. Right? Read 46. It's the book of Deuteronomy, no. chapter 28, verse 49. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. God said, if you don't do what I say, I'm going to put curses on you. He made a, a covenant with us. It's a contract, an agreement. And if we don't follow it, he said, I'm going to put curses on you. And he said, they'll be there for a sign. So even though we forget who we are, those curses will be there for a sign. To let you know that you're God's chosen people still. So let's read him a couple of the curses. Go ahead, let's continue to read them. You know, curse shalt thou be. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Look it up. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. 16, give me 16. Verse 16. Curse shalt thou be in the city, and curse shalt thou be in the field. Are we cursed in the city now? Are we the bottom of the earth thing? We the ones getting killed by the police? We the ones in poverty? Right? We was cursed in the field too. Right? Look at that little guy. That's cursed in the field right there. Let me read 54. Read 54 for him. Four. So that the man that is tender among you is very delicate. His eyes come up. Tender among you, that means a guy that we, we have prayer for each other. We see each other. We go, how you doing, brother? How your mama doing? Everything good? You need anything? Y'all straight? That's how we used to be, right? We don't. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Our eyes are evil towards each other. We walk down the street, nigga looking at you like you want to fight. You don't even say nothing to him. We be fighting for nothing. We fight. Why we even have fought, said two words to each other. Well, what's good? Well, what's good? What's good? Well, what's good? Then all, that's how we get down. We don't see them. Nobody else doing that. Nobody else uh, does that. And everybody else trips out on us. Like, why are they like that? God did that to us. We don't. His eye shall be eaten towards his brother and toward the wife of his bosom. Oh, can't get along with his women, right? We don't. And toward the remnant of his children. His children. Which he shall leave. Which he shall leave. Go to every, go to the ghetto right now in the project. How many of them houses got a daddy in it? Right? If you was blessed enough to have your daddy, you might be the only one in the block. You know what I'm talking about? This is in the Bible. It says we would have no daddies in the home. We would be violent towards each other. We got 43. You know, give it a shotgun. History repeats itself. Right, right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within me. Oh, no. strangers around us. The Arabs, the Africans, the, the Chinese, the Japanese. That is within me shall get up above thee very high. You don't get up above us very high. And thou shalt go down very low. When you look at all the businesses on your block, wherever you stay, who owns a ride? Not nobody owns none of that. Somebody else owns all of that, right? Let's give them a shotgun, right? Matter of fact, start at 65, man, because I love that so much. No, give me 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Now, this is nobody can, nobody can argue with. This curse is on the children of Israel only. The, the, the Japanese man can't say he's been through this. The, the white man can't say he's been through this. Nobody can say they've been through this. Read it. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, now the children of Israel were in Egypt. You ever heard of the Red Sea? Of the Red sea? So they were, what were they doing in Egypt? You know what they were doing in Egypt? They were slaves. Right? And they were slaves in Egypt. They said, let my people go. And he didn't want to let them go. And God opened the sea and drowned them all. And took his firstborn and all that. So he freed us out of Egypt. Now... He says, you don't go into Egypt again. You read the Bible, it says, Egypt is a house of bondage. You got Exodus? No, that's good. Cool. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. With ships. So you're going to go into slavery on ships. We don't. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. God flex the same way I told you it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Thou shalt see it no more again. He said, I'm going to take you to Egypt on ships, but you ain't going to see Egypt again. Like, what does that mean? He said, I'm going to take you into slavery again. We are. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. 
Slavery right there in the Bible. And let me tell you something. It goes, it's all through it. Oppression, slavery. We, give me salvation. Let me get salvation. Luke, let me get Luke. Uh, get Exodus 14. 14 and 13. Let me show you what salvation is and you get up on your way out of here. Because let me show you something. Every, the, the, the church will have you believe it. That you should sit at home, pray to God, that you can sit up in heaven with the same person who en enslaved you. Please, Lord, let me sit next to my slave master in heaven. That's what they want us to do, right? But this is what salvation is according to the Bible. It's not my, it's not, none of this is what I think. At one point, if it was what I think, I'd probably still be gang banging and smoking and smoking blunts all day. I, I don't know, but, but this is what God said, right? So according to the Bible, you got that? Give me that. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 13. Bring it out. And Moses said unto the people, ye right before they crossed the Red Sea. Fear ye not. Because the, the Egyptians were bearing down on them. The army was coming. They were like, oh shit. The army's right there. The water's right here. What are we going to do, Moses? Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. I see the salvation of the Lord. Which he will show to you to today. Uh -huh. For the Egyptians, for we have seen today, ye shall see them again no more. We ain't gonna see the Egyptians no more. This is what salvation is. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Not the God of everybody, not the God of the white people, not the God of the angry white girl who's mad that she's not included. We don't. For he has visited and redeemed his people. His people. His people. His people. His people. God has a people. We don't. And has raised up a horn of salvation. Horn means power in the Bible. He raised up a horn of salvation. That's what they call Christ, the Messiah. For us in the house of his servant David. We don't. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. And it's the same message through the whole Bible. Everybody, Jeremiah, Isaiah, everybody had the same prophecy, the same message. We don't. Which have been since the world began. What? That we shall be saved. That we should be what? That we, we shall be saved. That we should be saved. From what? From our, our enemies. enemies. From our enemies. We don't. And from the hands of, the, of all that hate us. That's what salvation is. Being saved from your enemies and the hand of those that hate you. Right? Muhammad Ali went through a thing, man. He had to, he said, I'm not going to go fight no more. And they took his belt from him and everything. Right? Right? Because he took a stand on something, right? He's like, I'm not going to go over here and, and fight other brown people when you're my enemy over here. Right? And they took his belt from him. He had to fight a fight because he knew they hated him here. Right? You know who your enemies are here. The Bible said we'd be sold unto our enemy. Who are we sold to? And so who's our enemy according to the Bible? Those people, right? So this says being saved from your enemies. They want to tell us, pray to God that you can go sit in the heaven with all your enemies. So God says, no, I'm going to save you from your enemies. But there's a woman out here getting robbed or raped, God forbid. And you walk by and you see her. And you're going to save her. Are you going to save her and the rapist? No, you save her from the rapist and you let him have it. That's right? Right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved. No, the whole earth. But Israel shall be saved. And the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Israel's going to be saved. Everybody's not going to be saved. Everybody can't be saved. Because somebody's the oppressed and somebody is the oppressed soul. You get what I'm saying? Let me give you a flyer, okay? What's your name? Washington. Washington, all praise to the Most High, kid. All praise to the Most High. You guys chose the people. You, you the real Jew. There's, a, there's an email on there, phone number on there, and a YouTube channel. I definitely gonna see me Check around. this out. All praise to the Most High, kid. All praise to the Most High. Some people got salt, got flavor, man. Right. All praise to the Most High. You know what I mean? Hey. Some people ain't like these other people. Jacob is not like them. Give me that in Jeremiah, uh, six, Jeremiah 10 and 16. Yeah. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 7, verse 10 and 11. Bring it up. And I said, it is so, Lord, then said he unto me, even so, even so also in Israel's portion. Because for their sake, I made the world. God made the world for you, all you beautiful blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. God made the world for you. And they didn't tell you that. 
You got chosen people. That's right, right sister. You got chosen people. And they didn't tell you that. Stay in the second message. Oh, my fault. Never mind. You good.